Welcome to the video describing Module 1's capstone activity, Picking Your Horse. Now the overriding goal of these capstone activities is to actually apply the knowledge that you're learning in these lessons. So we are going to take a horse diet and evaluate it from module to module. Now throughout that process, when you're evaluating this diet, you're gonna be able to identify any deficiencies, any excesses, and then make any adjustments necessary. And we're gonna provide you all the tools to do this as we go. Now in the, this first module activity, we need you to pick a horse. So ideally, you'd pick one of the horses that you know own or manage each and every day. Now, if you don't own a horse, it's okay. Pick your dream horse. Did you ever wanna own a Clydesdale? Or did you ever want, wanna own a little mini pony? It doesn't matter, just pick any horse that, that you would dream of owning, and then think about what you would like to do with them. Would you like to take them to the Olympics? Or do you just wanna ride them every now and then? It's okay, just pick a horse, and then we're gonna go through each week and evaluate their diet. Now, the first thing you want to do is identify the horse's breed, their age, and then the sex of the animal. So if you have a mare, great. If you have a male, is it a stallion or is it a castrated gelding? So for me, I'm going to carry a horse with you through each of these modules. I'm going to select an eight-year-old quarter horse. It's one of my loves of my life, and that was my mare, Tari. So I'm going to carry her through with you through all of these capstone activities. And we're gonna look at what we're feeding her and then compare that to what you're feeding your horse. Now, the next aspect that you need to identify is the level of activity. How much are you exercising? Is it light, moderate, heavy, or extreme? Now, for me, I'm gonna look at Tari. We ride a little bit each week, so it's light. But every now and then, I like to go canter, and we like to push her a little bit. So it could get into that moderate range, but overall, her exercise level is light, and we'll keep it at that for this, this these discussions and these activities. Now, the other aspect is you need to write down, what are you feeding your horse? Exactly. What are you feeding and how much? So we will always start with our forage. You need to know if it's a grass or legume and what types of plants, then how much you're feeding each day. Then we want to look, are you feeding bagged hay, a concentrate? Okay. What is it? How much? Then are you feeding anything else, any other types of supplements? We want to write all of that down. So then in further modules, we'll be able to plug that in to nutrition calculators and apply the knowledge that you're getting from each lesson. So for me, I'm feeding about 10 kilograms or 22 pounds of a Timothy hay to Tari. And then I make sure I give her a nice vitamin mineral mix just so I'm identifying and meeting any of those gaps in her diet. So you want to make sure you write all this down, have this data ready, because at the end of each module, again, we're going to go back and review it and start looking at your diets and evaluating to give them the best life possible. 